Summer of 72 is due to be released on digital platforms on the 1st of February. This is an adaption of a novel which came out in 1994. The novel which was written by W. Glasgow Phillips was titled Tuscaloosa. The movie was previously titled Tuscaloosa but was given a rename to Summer of 72. So if there's any confusion, that is where it stems from. The movie is directed by Philip Harder on his directorial debut and stars Devon Bostick who is most known for his work on the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies and also stars Natalia Dyer who is most known for the work on Stranger Things, the Netflix series. The movie is set in 1972 just after the civil rights movement and focuses on the character of Billy Mitchell. Uh, Billy Mitchell is a college graduate who doesn't really know what he's doing with his life and his life is pretty mundane, pretty boring. He's pretty oblivious to everything that is going on around him. The movie is told from his point of view so it takes a moment to get going. He then meets a young female who is actually a patient at his father's mental institute and the movie focuses on his relationship with her, his relationship with his father but also his relationship with his best friend Nigel who is a black gentleman and the movie is set after the civil rights movement so it focuses a lot on the racial tensions that are going on and it's a solid movie. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good watch. I went into it knowing absolutely nothing. I hadn't seen a trailer. I didn't know much about this movie before I was sent it. And I was thoroughly surprised. For instance, the rapper YG is in it. And I had no idea that YG was in the movie. And I had no idea that YG was even an actor. I didn't know he, he was a performance artist like that. I knew he was a rapper, but didn't know that he was in movies so that was a pleasant surprise and he put on a solid performance as well in his limited capacity that he was in the movie the other performances are awesome i thought everyone put on a good performance the only thing that was a little bit off for me was the accent which i give people a pass sometimes when it's a strong accent like the alabama accent is it was just a little bit too much. Some people turned it up a bit too much and it was a little bit off-putting at times. But other than that, I thought the acting was great. The cinematography was awesome. I felt like it was shot really well. For a directorial debut, it's a very solid movie. Um, Editing-wise, great. The hair and makeup, perfect for the time which the movie was set. The movie is not one that I'm going to run back and watch anytime soon. It's not one which is going to be a repeat watch. But it was a thoroughly enjoyable movie. I always like these movies. I always feel like they're an insight in regards to past times. It's crazy sometimes the racial stuff that goes on in these movies. And to think that this stuff actually used to happen to people. It's pretty insane to me, but I know that it did used to happen. And if anything, this movie was slightly toned down on the racial aspects. It was a thoroughly enjoyable movie, a movie which took a few twists and turns that I didn't expect to happen. And it's definitely one which, when it comes out on the 1st of February, you should check out. If you watch this movie, please hit me up in the comments and let me know what you enjoyed about it and what you didn't enjoy about it. If you have any comments at all, please make sure you hit me up. I will reply. I always reply to my comments. Like the video if you enjoy it. And also subscribe to the channel so you can find out when more videos are being uploaded. As always, I'm Rio. This is my positive POV. Thank you for watching. Peace out.